All right, today I'm going to hang the Metolius wood grips to uh, hangboard in the walk-in closet. Um, so basically, this is what I've used, what I'll be using: stud finder, level, pencil, drill, uh, tape measure, drill bits. I may also, when I go to Home Depot, to get the backer board for this. Um, I may also get a speed square if I can't find mine. I don't know where any of my stuff is anymore. But they'll just help me get straight up and down lines on the board so that I know exactly where the studs are and exactly where I need to drill the um, the holes to go into the studs. And basically I'm following the same plan that they have on their instructions, which is I found the four studs above the door frame. I'm going to put three screws in each stud um, across the backer board, and then I will screw the the hang board into the backer board. So before I head off to Home Depot to get the backer board, um, I'm just gonna show you what I've done so far, which is not much. I found the four studs, two, three, and four, above the header of the door frame, which is, a, if I get a four foot board, or get a six foot board cut down to four feet, it'll come out a little bit on either side of the stud. And that will give me room to put my screws in and not worry about you know, splitting and all that stuff. Um, at Home Depot, I got um, a one by 10 by six piece of lumber and I had them cut it down. So there's the other two feet and it's just got a rough edge, which is what I'm using the sandpaper for. And then I got some number 10, three inch screws and I'll use this to screw this backer board to the wall and then screw the hang board to the backer board. So here I realized that my markers for where the studs were were too high, so instead of trying to transfer them down and keep them in line, I just used the stud slider to move them down, check to see if the door frame is level, and then I transferred the mark onto the board. Now I'm actually drilling into the wall to see if there's actually studs there or not. Um, I never trust this stud slider. Really, I don't know how to use a drill anymore either. marked on the board where I wanted to put all my screws and now I'm going to drill pilot holes. Now I've come to the realization that I need more hands than I have. So I grabbed painter's tape. I'm trying to line up the original pilot hole in the board with the pilot hole that I made earlier in the wall. Then I realized that that was a dumb idea. I just need to tape the board to the wall and start over again. Well, I was on a roll. I was just about to screw the backer board onto the wall and realized that these are T-Star screws, not Phillips head screws. So, back to Home Depot. I ran to Home Depot and I got the correct screws, but through some trial and error, now I'm realizing that I not only have to drill pilot holes for every screw, but I need to use a larger drill bit so I can kind of sink the screws.
point I'm having a really hard time getting the screws in the hangboard to be flush using the screw gun. So I get smart and I go get a screwdriver. Well, it took me about three and a half hours, but it's up. Um, a couple of things that I would do differently next time. I would get a, a countersink bit because the because the screws are so long, it was hard for the drill to get them flush. So I had to use another drill bit to uh, countersink them. And then with the the screws and probably these screws as well. But the screws in the um, hangboard, I would just use the drill to get them about 98% in and then just hand tighten them the rest of the way. Otherwise, you're going to start stripping the screws. But otherwise, it turned out really well. Um, I hung from it. Didn't fall to my death. It stayed on the wall. So I guess it's a success.